Hi guys, this is Raj Shekhar from St. Peter's Engineering College. Welcome to the session. Today we are going to discuss about the data mining trends, the research frontiers. The data mining trends are the few of the data mining trends we have. Those are the mining complex of the data types, other methodologies of the data mining, data mining applications, data mining and society, data mining trends. So these are all the data mining latest trends and the further future scope of the data mining. In the data mining, we have in the first one is a data mining complex types of the data. Complex types of the data are the mining sequence data. In this mining sequence data, what are the sequence patterns will be done in the mining sequence data? This sequence data we are using the net data mining time series, mining symbolic sequences, mining biological sequences, and the mining graphs and networks, and the mining other kinds of the networks we are using in the mining complex types of the data. Now we'll discuss about the what is a mining sequence of a data. In this mining sequence of a data, we are following a time series, time morning is a very important when we are doing a data mining concept. Why? Because if you have a time limit of that particular data mining concepts, uh, the searching techniques will be improved and the accuracy will be improved when you apply any applications or any algorithms. Similarity serves in the time series data. Why? Because if you have a subsequent matches of the dimensionality reduction, query based and similarity search, modify based and similarity search. These are all the similarity based such as in the time bondings. Subsequence matching, so if you have a matching search process is there in the already previously, then you can view that particular results. Or if you want to search the data with multiple times within a different taglines, it is also used as a subsequence match. And the dimensionality reductions, if you want to reduce the dimensionality of the particular data transmission of the data things, you can use the dimensionality reduction. The next one is the query based similarities. We have any, any queries are given, uh, related queries will be there, then the query based similarities are also used with the time based uh, mining sequence data. And we have to modify based similarity search. If already searching process is done within a previous thing, then only we can modify that one and we can use that uh, modify based similarity search. And we have one more thing uh, that is in a regression and the trend analysis in the time series data. We have in a long long term plus cyclic plus seasonal variation plus random movements of the data there in the regression and trend analysis in the time series data. So we have one more thing that is in a sequential pattern mining in the symbolic sequences. Those are the sequential pattern mining in the symbolic sequences of the GSP. The GSP of the prefix span or the Constant based sequential pattern mining, we also learned in the sequential patterns mining in the symbolic sequences. When coming to the sequence classification, so we have a future based sequence classification, the sequence based distance based versus the model based classifications. These are all the sequence classifications will be done. That is a future based sequence classification. Means if you want to further you want to search anything on the database, you can use a future based sequence search on the sequence. Uh, distance based which you have, for example, you are using a k nearest neighbor algorithm, then the searching process done by the using of the clustering or the classification things, you can use the sequence distance based or the model based means any model techniques are used in this, then you can use the model based techniques. The next one is alignment of the biological sequences. One of the major alignments of the biological sequences are the pair wise or the multiple wise, multiple sequence alignment or the Substitution matrix that is a blast of the particular things will be there in the alignment of the biological sciences. The next one is the hidden Markov model for the biological sequence analysis. There, are Markov chains versus the hidden Markov models. Uh, Markov chains means uh, the techniques which are used by the Markov and uh, everything will be used as a biological sequence method because the analyzing of the viruses of the editing data which is related to the science will be mentioned as a biological sequence analysis. For example, if you are taking in a hospital management uh, data set, then it comes to the biological or the medical data set, then it comes to the biological sequence analysis and it can be used by the different variations. And we have one more thing that is a mining graphs and a networks. Here we have a doing a graphical technology that is a mining graph or networks. In this graphing, there are uh, Graph pattern mining is also applied that is a frequent sub pattern patterns, uh, sub graph patterns or the closed graph patterns of the G span or versus the closed graph. 
these are the graph pattern mining techniques uh, we have a statistical modeling of the network and the clustering and the classification graphs on the homogeneous networks and the clustering ranking and the classification of the heterogeneous networks or the role discover the link prediction in the information networks or the similarity search of the OLAP in the information networks of the data warehouse or that is a path scam path sim on the graph cube graph cube techniques and the one more thing is an evolution of the social and the information networks with an EO net clutch with this EO net clutch uh, we can use an uh, social networks of the information networks which are related to the public authorities and we can gather the information from this public platform and we can maintain the evolution process of the social things and uh, majorly in the mining graphic networks we have using a uh, graph pattern mining and the clustering and the classification of the graphs of the homogeneous networks the next one is the mining of the other kinds of the data we have any uh, different kinds of the data available in the mining of the data set so those are the mining a spatial data or mining a spatio temporal and uh, moving objects data or the mining cyber physical system data or applications or the mining multimedia data or the mining text data and uh, mining the text data will be covered with the topic modeling or the i topic model or the integration of the geo and the network data modeling with the mining of the web data and the mining of the data streams in the mining of the data streams are used by the dynamics that is uh, similarly like as any data dynamics with the one pass patterns of the clusterings or classifications or the outer layer detections will be done by using the mining data patterns with the mining web data will contain the web content with the web structure and the web usage of the mining when coming to the web content and the web usage of the mining weights uh, in the website in the web in the web application we have a bulk amount of the data are available in the web applications and the web application is connected to the multiple databases or the multiple clouds to gather the information from the different different resources by using the web mining data we can retrieve the information from the mining by using any simple applications with these simple applications we can retrieve the data to retrieve the information from the web mining or the web usage of the mining next one is a mining and text data in this mining In the mining text data with an air topic modeling, topic modeling or the I topic model or the integration with the geo or network data will be maintained with the mining text data. In this mining text data, uh, the geo or the network data will be gathered and it can be converted into a text process. The text process will be mined by using the mining text data. And we have one more important that one is a mining multimedia data. This multimedia data will have an a large amount of huge amount of the data within a cloud and it can be shared within a multiple resources or the multiple source points so we can gather the information regarding this from all the social media data and it can be tagged by using the geo tagged spatial clustering and we can apply the geo tagged spatial clustering with a periodic analysis of the data also applied in the mini mining of the multimedia data this mining of the multimedia data will help you in the social network analysis and the first major layer of the uh, next one is a cyber crime or a physical system data it is cyber crime or the physical system data will be helpful in the applications of the healthcare air control craft air traffic control or the flood simulations or earthquake simulations or anything which are related to that particular traffic uh, maintenance will be done with the physical system data the next one is the mining of the spatio temporal and the moving object data this spatio temporal data mining is a trajectory mining of the periodic swarm and we have using in the uh, spatios of the world the moving of the objects will be calculated by using the spatio uh, temporal data mining and the next one is the mining of the spatial data the mining of the spatial data is a simpler to the spatial clustering and the classifications of the data The next one is the other methodologies of the data mining. We have a few more methodologies in the data mining techniques. Uh, those are the statistical data mining or the views of the data mining foundation or visual and audio of the data mining foundations will be done. In the physical, uh, the measure of the statistical data mining will come in the regression model, generalized linear model, analysis of the variance, mixed effort model, factor analysis, discriminant analysis, and survival analysis. These are the more and uh, major important statistical data mining methods using in the 
regression of the statistical. Here the statistical data mining is the first one. In this statistical data mining, there are many well established statistical techniques for the data analysis of the portion of the numerical data, which can be applied by using the difference of the values and it can be valued in the aggregation model. In this regression, we have to check, uh, we have to see the graph of the regression model by manufacturing wages of the GNP as per the capital. Uh, to predict the value of the responses, we can be dependent on the variable from one to uh, more predictable variables. And we have the forms of the regression that is a linear or multiple or weighted or polynomial or the non parametric and robustic values are there in the regression model. Next one is the scientific and the statistical data mining. Here the scientific and the statistical data mining will use an L. generalized linear models and the mixed effect model with a uh, graphical representation of the data. Uh, we are aware the categorical response variables or the some transformations are to be related to certain uh, predict variables or the predicted variables uh, which are the similar to the modeling of the numeric responses variable using in a linear regression. In these linear regressions, we can use the logistical regression or the position regression, which includes in the generalized linear models only. And one more thing is in the mixed effect models. In these mixed effect models, where you have an analyzing of the group of the data, that data can be classified according to the one or more grouping variables of that particular data values. The next one is a typically described relationship between a response variable and uh, some of the covariance in the data grouped according to one or more factors. So with these data grouped models, with one or more factors will be described very clearly. Next one is a scientific and statistical data mining. In this scientific and statistical data mining, we'll have the isolation positions of the particular graphical model. For example, if you take any graph, if you take any uh, visualized graph with a location marking or the geospatial graph, we have to maintain any markable positions. For example, take the regression trees. In these regression trees, we have any patterns, decision trees, and the bar graphs, and everything will be there in the decision uh, regression trees, like the binary trees are used for the classification and the prediction models. Uh, similarly, like any decision trees, which are test for the performance of the internal nodes, or in the regression, the mean of the objective attributes is computed and used as in a predicted value. So in these uh, regression models, we have a statistical data mining methods by using the different different of the classifications and the clustering values. And the next one is analysis of the variance. In this analysis, we uh, have any experimental data or for the two or more popular description by the numerical response variables and one or more categorical factors of that particular value will be taken. And we have a statistical data mining for the factor analysis and the discriminant analysis. In the factor analysis, we are using a data mining uh, with a factor analysis for checking savings and everything will be done by using the different factors of the values. That is a factor one, factor two, factor three, factor four. Each factor will have a few values of the data mining data sets with a different of the attribute names. So with this determining which variable are combined to generate or a given data factor, for example, of the uh, one of the indirectly measures other of the quantities that reflect the factors of the interest. And we have one more thing that is a discriminate analysis. Predict the categorical responses, a variable commonly used in the social sciences. When the social sciences of the predicted values will have a distinct analysis with a probability of the non renewables and the number of customers who are using, but the percentage of the discriminations will be displayed by using a graphical representation of the values. And it can be attempts that determine the several discriminant functions that is a linear combination of the independent uh, variables that discriminant among the groups definitely by the responses, responses of the variables. And we have one more thing that is a statistical of the data mining. Uh, in the time series, many methods such as auto regression, ERMI, that is the auto regression integrated moving average model, that is a long memory time series model. And we have a few controlling control, uh, quality controls also, which displays the group of the summary charts. That summary charts will represent you the quality and the measures of the accuracy values in the data sets. And we have a survival analysis also, that means how many, what the data set will be taken, the data set and the probability of that particular data set will be run. How, what is the accuracy of that particular value will be analyzed by using the surveillance of the survival analysis. 
it can predict the probability that patient undergoing a medical treatment would survive at least to time of the lifespan predictions like this we have a survival analysis in the data mining and uh, we have a few more other methodologies in the data mining those are the data mining foundations in these data mining foundations the data reduction data compression probability and statistical theory uh view of the data mining foundations are the microeconomic views pattern discovery and the inductive databases so these are already previously we discussed about the view of the data mining foundations like as a data reduction data compression probability and everything and microeconomic view the pattern discovery and the inductive databases in the pattern discovery and inductive databases basics of the data mining will be discovered and it can be uh, executed with a inductive of the databases and uh, each and every inductive logic on the databases will be represented the next one is a popular among the many researchers in the database systems next visual and audio data mining in this visual and audio data mining also will use a computer graphics multimedia systems human computer interfaces pattern recognitions and high performance computers are used in the visual data mining techniques is a visualization of the uh, data mining is the visualization of data mining and the data visualization process with a data processing so thank you